Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Warland Tactical. I hope you guys have been well and safe. We're well here at the Warland family. So, with that being said, what I'm going to do for you guys and Maxpedition, for a few for a couple weeks here, I'm going to go ahead and give Maxpedition some love. And every Wednesday, I'm going to show a piece of their kit that I personally own and then showcase with you guys what I keep in the kit. And so you can have some recommendations to build your own kit with some great product from their hard use line, which is most of their gear. So the first pouch I want to talk about for this Wednesday will be the, Mi the Maxpedition Micro Series. It comes in three different colors. I personally do not have the green, which I will get, but I have one in khaki and two in black. Let's pull out the khaki one first, just to talk about the pouch. On the back of the pouch, there is no webbing or moly to attach it anywhere. This is designed to go in a front pocket, back pocket, cargo pocket, or any pocket in that matter. That's why it's called the micro. On the front, we have their very sturdy mesh slash pocket, double stitched. Maxpedition logo, YKK zipper self-lubricating YKK zipper, meaning that if you get a snag, it'll catch itself and fix itself. On the back where the pull handle is, box stitched and bar tacked. Box stitching keeps it in place, bar tacking stops it from tearing. That's a little history on some knot or sewing. I don't want to get in that kit yet. I want to grab this kit same design just black in color this kit is going to be my fire and water kit and again this is my minimal kit what i edc so i have a fire starter with a it's duct tape which i'm going to remove that duct tape and apply electrical tape because it gets all sticky and i don't like it so first off this is a little fire striker and a oxygen tube so when you need to make a fire and you want to provide heat to the fire or fuel, which wood and oxygen are the fuel for the fire. So this is what this tube will do. You can blow in your oxygen to help light the fire. Next, because fire obviously means wood processing, I have a Camelus sharpener. If you guys haven't seen this one, I like this one a lot. It's got some different bits on every corner. The T6s, T18s, which are star bits for your handle skins on your folders and your fixed blades, if you have that. Has a little carbide sharpener right there. And this is supposedly four scissors, different angles to sharpen your scissors. Uh, you can probably fit your fixed blade in there as well. I mean, sorry, your folder in there as well. I have not. Right here is to sharpen hooks or take burrs off your tips of your knives. That is a ceramic sharpener. And there's also a V ceramic sharpener here and a V carbide sharpener as well. And an idiot cord. Next is I have a little torch. I don't know who makes this, doesn't matter. Torch is a torch. Has a locking mechanism on it, which I really like. And it is refillable. So I have in this kit, I have two fire options. Now for my water purification, I have two water filters I, I was trying to throw at you. Ha ha, bad joke. Anyways, so water bases by Akamir. These are 30 gallons water purification each. So it's like a straw. Here's your two straws. Connect that. And there you are, 30 gallons of water each. And again, this is a minimal kit for everyday carry. So 60 gallons of water. That works for me when I need to use it. Okay, next pouch will be my tech pouch or my, yeah, we'll just call it my tech pouch. So again, same pouch, black color. I have a portable battery on the front. I put a piece of electrical tape on there to pull it out of the freshly mesh zip um, slash pocket. So again, simple pull it out, 
but just take a piece of electrical tape, fold it over, and you know you have a nice little pull tab. This is by iWalk. It's a 3,000 milliamp portable battery, and it works for Androids and iPhones or iOS systems. And the cables are all self-contained, so you don't have cables everywhere. Let's go ahead and open her up. And again, these pouches are full clamshell opening. I have a conversation piece. This is a stylus match design. Pretty cool. I just saw it and I had to have it, I guess. This is the cable to my Nebo charger. Now, this charger is to a Nebo flashlight that I do have in my bag. This is not necessarily in these minim these micro kits, but th again, this is my tech pouch, so it has a few of my cables in it. And then here's the wall part. Plug that in, plug it into a wall, good to go. And I know what you might think, I just pulled this out. This is a bracelet. What does this have to do with a tech pouch? Well. I figured this would go along with my communication, so I keep it in this pouch. You got charging devices for your phone, flashlight, which is a signaling device. This is a communication, and so is this. This is a Master Cobra or a King Cobra wrapped um, survival bracelet, which means it has more material than the regular single Cobra wraps. This has a whistle right here, F backup fire striker. I know it is very tiny and minimal, but it does provide a spark. And it has a bottle opener as well. The whistle's pretty good. Not gonna blow it too loud, I don't wanna hurt your ears. So again, put that back in there. And what I do have in there as well is a cable lock for my bag, which has the lock in there as well. So I got a little simple lock that clips in here and I can run it through either the handles or all the zippers and lock my kit up which right now, I know this doesn't have to do with Maxpedition, but all these pouches are kept in my little EDC pack. So as I stow this away, I'll talk to you guys a bit. So again, every Wednesday, I will be showcasing a bit of Maxpedition gear that I personally own. And then going over what I carry in them. For those of you that jumped into my channel, just play a little catch up. It's a brand new pouch, so things got to be broken in a bit. Okay, my other micro that I carry is in khaki. Let's go ahead and open that up. This is going to be my EDC kit. So if I don't have any EDC items or my items got compromised, I would grab this kit. In here, my blade choice is the Gerber Paraframe because I wanted a light and durable knife. I like these a lot. Other people might not, but this is what I carry in this kit. It is a frame lock, so it has a positive lockup. Nice sharp blade. It has a skeletized handle, very light. So I paired that up with the next multi-tool, which is also a skeletized handle, spring-loaded pliers, which those are very handy when you're trying to one hand do something. And these two items are fairly light. I have a Nebo flashlight, 6M or 6 zoom, rechargeable. And a pair of nail clippers. I have it in this kit because it's like my EDC kit, my tool kit for my EDC items. And not many people have nail clippers in their kit. You never know if you get a hangnail, if you need to pull out a splinter, if you need to trim some material. That is a wonderful option for that. It even has a little file on there too, as well, which I need to switch this out because I see a bit of rust on there. And again, these pouches are really, really, really built very well. All their gear is built really well. Medium-sized elastic bands on this side, three small loops on this side, 
and I still haven't even filled it as you guys see. I only filled it with what I need to carry. But this thing will take a little bit more as you can tell. And also behind the tools there's a little gear loop. You can hook up your a key or a little light to it, which I do not, but it gives you that option. Well, there you have it, guys. This is the Maxpedition Micros, and this is Gear Wednesday with Warland Tactical. You know what I did leave out? I'm sorry. I just saw it sitting there. It must have fell out. This is my EDC spoon with a bit of electrical tape on it for a handle. Don't laugh, it's minimal. This is actually the spoon out of a tuna kit. They sent me, I opened one of those little tuna kits by Sunkist or whatever and there was two spoons in there and I kept one and threw it in my kit for, again, a conversational piece. I might not even use it, but it's just a little fun item to have in there. That's about it, guys. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe, comment below. Hope you enjoyed. I know I had a bit of fun with it. And see you guys next Wednesday for Maxpedition Gear Day. Later.